So what I've done, I've got two examples, one about parallel arrays and another one about an array of records. So we'll just use these for the, all the other guidance in terms of the bullet points of talking about types of algorithms to use or reading from a file. So these will be the ones that I refer back to. There is a 1D array example that I have in one of the guidance example. So the parallel array one is just class grades. I think I've taken this from a prelim or a previous paper. So what you've got is it's not class grades at all, it's to do with the tail, so I need to change that. Okay, so um so it's just basically to do with the tails. The tail name it is the star rating, so it's one out of one to five stars, uh, the price per room and the a score out of 10 okay so it's actually to do with the tails we'll just call it hotel ratings hey right, so you've got four parallel arrays okay one array has got the name of the tail and another one's got the rating and another one's got the price and another one's got the score and it's just really just to visualize how the parallel arrays work so the index zero of each array is information about that one hotel okay so it's the the name rating out of 5, price per night, and a score out of 10 from the guest. Okay, so that's the first hotel, won't even try and pronounce it, and then that's index 1 is the second hotel. Okay, obviously we start arrays at 0. Okay, if you're talking about the, the position of the first hotel, you'd be saying that's the first position, that's the second position. But the index and how we actually identify each piece of data in an array, we start at zero. Now, what the second um, example that I've got is just to do with, uh, again, it's from another past paper, it's just to do with uh, an array of records. So instead of using parallel arrays to store information, we because a, well, a 1D array can only hold information about the, with the same data type, what we can do is we can have an array of records. So a record can store different data types and we can have an array of these records. So what we've got here is we've got its top 100 movies. Obviously it's all copyright, so that's instead of the matrix, it's the matrix. What you've got is there's four bits of information, the title, studio, the rating out of 100, and the takings. And here is a top movies database. Index zero is the first movie about the matrix. And you've got within that, you've got four bits of information held within each area or each index or each element, I should say, of the array. Okay, so the element at index zero contains four pieces of information. That's quite different than uh, an array in terms of the in a windy array. Um, the element can only hold one piece of information and that array has to hold information of the same data type. So this is where the good thing of an array of records is a record can hold as many type many bits of data as you want but they also can have different data types and how you address information from it or the data is that's the name of the array of records and within that think of these as being the field names okay because you've so that's the title that's a studio that's the ratings and that's the taking so these are the two scenarios that I'll be taking you through the hotel ratings and this one is the top movies okay so one's parallel arrays and the others are records